first alert for Temperatures for today were on the comfortable side, especially in comparison to the past couple of days. We're currently sitting at 57 here in the Summit City. And you can see all across the Great Lakes region, lots of places in the mid to upper 50s and low 60s, which is quite a bit warmer than where we were this time yesterday. We were about five degrees cooler than this time yesterday afternoon. You see Cleveland and Columbus, they're quite a bit warmer. And we're going to keep this above average trend going for the next couple of days. So if you're heading out to the Veterans Day Parade tomorrow at 11 a.m., conditions are going to be pretty good. 9 a.m., temperatures still in the mid 40s, so still a little bit on the chilly side. Same case for those temperatures at 11 a.m., but we warm up fairly quickly, climbing into the mid to upper 50s for the high, which typically we see a high of about 55 for this time of year, so a few degrees above average. And those winds are going to be lower as well in comparison to today, so less warm air is going to be pushed in from the southwest. That's why we're going to be maybe a couple of degrees cooler tomorrow than what we were today, but still not too bad. And same case for your Sunday as well. Temperatures are going to return back into the mid to upper 50s, and your weekend is actually looking pretty dry. That's the good news. Monday, we return to the 60s, with some spots getting up into the mid 60s. However, there's a caveat with that. It's going to come along with a chance for some rain showers. You can see storm track and satellite and radar right now showing some rain stretching from Michigan all the way down into Missouri. I checked the radar reports. A lot of this is not actually reaching the ground. This is the radar scanning higher up in the atmosphere. So a lot of this rain not reaching the surface. And even as this weak front moves through tonight, I'm not expecting a whole lot of rain with it. Our next system on Monday, actually probably still off the coast right now in the Pacific Northwest getting ready to move on short. Here's what future track looks like throughout the weekend. Here's those weeks isolated sprinkles overnight into Saturday morning, but much of your Saturday afternoon is going to be dry and we'll see a mix of sun and clouds. See a little bit less cloud cover as we're waking up on Sunday morning in the same case for your Sunday afternoon, partly sunny conditions. So overall, not a bad weekend to try to get outside if you can, but that cloud cover returns on Monday morning ahead of some rain showers on Monday afternoon. So if you need to get some yard work done over the next four days, yeah, tomorrow, Sunday, good days to do it. Monday, you might want to avoid it in the afternoon, but Tuesday, looking pretty good as well. Here's future track as we get into Monday. You can see 3.30, 4 o'clock. We've got some scattered rain showers right on top of us here in northern Indiana, but the main axis of moisture is actually going to be in Michigan. The heart of that weather system is going to stay to the north of us, so we're just going to get clipped with some rain showers on Monday afternoon from that system. Our next widespread chance actually doesn't look like it's going to come until about Wednesday, but along with it is going to be cooler temperatures. So we're going from the mid 60s on Monday down into the mid to upper 50s on Tuesday and then 55 on Wednesday with those scattered rain showers. 55, that's right where we're supposed to be for this time of year. And then that gradual cooling trend continues. So those rain chances could linger into Thursday but we're back down into the low 50s for Thursday of next week and then back into the upper 40s for next Friday. So just a little bit of a roller coaster for those <laughs> temperatures over the next several days. Yeah, but the, the lows are not frigid cold, so that's great news, yes. right? Yep, yeah. and no, no snow to worry about either. Hey, that's even Love better. That. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Caleb.